Well, I wanted to act since I was like four years old. Literally, it's all I've ever, ever wanted. There was a brief stint where I wanted to be a dolphin trainer, but other than that, it was just acting. Um, and I begged my parents to put me into acting class, but it was in Winnipeg, and it was like a small town. Um, and they weren't really thrilled about the idea, so I took my mom's Shakespeare book at six and just started like memorizing sonnets and stuff. And so finally, she's like, oh, I'll let you go to acting class. And I just fell in love with it even more. And I had, kind of had limited you know, resources. So it was just, you know, some acting classes and plays. Um, there wasn't a lot filming out there at that time. Um, not that there's a ton now, but sometimes we'll get stuff there now. Uh, and then as soon as I turned 17, I'm like, I'm out of Winnipeg. I went to uh, York University in Toronto for their theater program. And while I was out there, I saw auditions for the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. And I'm like, oh, my ticket to LA. And uh, I auditioned and got in and then got to LA and been here ever since. So. Um, yeah, I, I always knew it's you know something I wanted to do was just kind of like climbing that mountain. How do you get there? Because it, it's you know you know it's the business where two plus two doesn't equal four. You can have like a ton of training. You can be you know very talented. It just you have to kind of know the right people and do the right things and kind of work your way up. Yeah, yeah, and and knowing the right people and and having the training to back it up, of course, and and having the experience. But yeah, so I've been lucky, you know, booked some nice things and but I'm just happy to be working. <laughs> it's, there, it's kind of always something new. You know, when you're first starting out, it's just like, I just want my SAG card. I just want representation that is good and, and, and believes in me and sends me out. And, and then, you know, it changes once you kind of hit that milestone and it's, um, you know, oh, I want to, you know, be seen in this room or, or, um, or, you know, a lot of times now with, so many celebrities doing uh, television, it trickles down into everything else. So, you know, each part, it's harder to get in the room because like, you know, celebrities are taking those offers too, like big names. So, um, you know, each kind of, at each little milestone, different challenges kind of pop up. It's a weird thing. Like I actually get more nervous auditioning than I do once I'm actually work. Cause once, once I got the job, I'm like, okay, now I can have fun. This is what I'm good at. The audition is the part where sometimes I can feel like, uh, you have to try to prove something, but once you once you're you've got it, it's like ah, these are my peers, and it's a weird it's a weird switch because you know again you grew up loving them, you you love them, and they're amazing, but you kind of just play with them, and and they and also you know kudos to them too, they make you feel so comfortable. At least the people I've had the opportunity to work with have made me feel so comfortable. So um, that's been I've been very lucky too. I don't know if you ever quite figure it out. It's kind of madness, but it's, it's, it's fun madness. Um, I guess, don't take anything too seriously. I think I was like so serious at the beginning, like this is how my career has to go. And you kind of learn, it's gonna go the way it wants to. You can kind of like build the foundational blocks of you know training and, and whatnot and trying to work with great people as much as you can and, and put yourself out there, but it's gonna go the way it wants to go, so kind of like go with the flow a little bit, which I've learned a lot recently.